but my society has a first, first name, and I spell I can't breathe. <laughs> reasonable officer in the defendant's place with all his training and all his experience, including that 40-hour crisis intervention course and a subsequent refresher course, he should have recognized it. Floyd was trying to get into the car. He was trying to work up the courage. He said, Rip up with the topper, with the uh, second best kicker. I guess yeah. top and uh, uh, got shot well, you, It's not about though. working so up the courage to be arrested. His argument here should yeah. be. His argument here should be. The cop should have completely disregarded George Floyd's feeling and shot You're not gonna see that again. Like King King Queen was King Ten and against Jack Ten. The focus King Nine something small space. He couldn't get in the back of the car. Okay, so he had to go on the ground. He shouldn't be on the ground. So you're saying he should just go free when he commits a crime? This is a horrible argument. And that's a deuce. largely been my point the whole time is put him in the back, no matter what, get him out of there. I believe he was totally alive. I'm going to do the same thing with the nuts. Maybe, you know, yeah. he may be partially responsible, but that's the large part is you can't, like, you have to get him in there. You have to get him out of there. Right. But that's just my opinion. But I think I'm right, seeing as he's dead. Right. Now, well, you know, I'm going to go for a hit uh, trick. Now he will call. Now he will call. That's it. I'm investing money to get more money. And I'm going to show you again. They yeah, they, they show him and, they, and then they do listen and take him out. And that's the problem. He should have been stuck in that car and kept in that car with the child lock on. Look, this is my question. This is your question ultimately to the left. And it's okay, the same question with the riders and the Maxine Waters. It's like, okay, all right, you committed a crime. Ross, uh, what do we do? Uh, well, you arrest him. Well, you okay, try to de escalate. George Floyd doesn't show his hands. What do you do? Okay, you bring him back. then you bring him back, and now he doesn't want to get the car. What do you do? Well, you did, well, okay, so what do you do? Well, then you put well, him in the car. Okay, so you to go it's the recommended to check. Well, then you restrain. Then to he says check. you don't want to be restrained. What do you check. do? Well, it's... At a certain point, you've got to start adulting, sweetheart. At a certain point, you either accept that the police have no, the authority no, to arrest people, 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 or they don't. This guy seems to be implying that you can't do anything a criminal doesn't like. <laughs> Basically. Same thing with Maxine Waters. Okay, if it's uh, not guilty, what do you do? We riot. Okay, if it's manslaughter, what do you do? We riot. He, if it's second degree, what, what do you do? We riot. If it's Tuesday, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we riot. Oh. You're playing a tear also. You know how to fold. You're not to be if there's a big pair of dunks in that window, what do you do? We riot. Oh, really? right, yeah, we'll I'll wait for uh, another diamond. Have you seen any of these videos? Yeah, you got this you, you got it. Fingers, fingers crossed. You got King and... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. They should not have listened to him. They should have shoved him in the car. Yeah, period. what else can you do? Top pair of top kicker. Four officers. What did George Floyd say once they pulled him Not give her eyes that what? She's a mother, I think, with a son, okay, respect. Here's some milk for the Here's some ice cream for the son. He wasn't trying to escape. He wasn't trying to punch By the way, he kicked them. Clip it. Clip it. He actively kicked a cop. Uh, check, because I don't know what the f*** she would be doing. But then after that, he said, after he kicked them and they got him down to the ground with my request, he said, thank you. I said, that is a double fingers crossed, come on. Was that Cedric the Entertainer's brother, Cedric the Explainer? It was Sedwick. Ah, he's from here, Sedwick. Don't count your tips in public, Sedwick. All right, well, let me see how that was. I'm angry at this Don Sherry suited. I should have raised on the fourth one. And take it there so they can win the race. That is a step that protects against the known danger of positional asphyxia. She folds a lot. What the folding? How old is this video? Four minutes, nothing on the list. They take him incredibly 
out of the recovery position and promise build a revolution on the offer. Yeah. What? Prone position is a transitory position. It's a position you use to secure someone in handcuffs. And when you yeah, it's not easy to develop the system. It's also a system they use when people have COVID to assist with their breathing. Okay. It, it is a transitional position to where? To where? What is the ultimate goal? Handcuffs, they already had him in handcuffs. The next thing, roll him, put him on his feet, put him in the car. They just tried that. Right. What would you like to transition to? They have to wait for the They were waiting for people because this guy was high out of his mind. Did you call time out like Zach Morris? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm sorry, it just pisses me off. No, I, by the way, by the when way, I get angry, I come up with the same thing. The other one is a double the second question. If you just want to get to walk into the North Ward in St. Louis and yell, oh, they're actually free shit. She wants to buzz to rise, so that's why she. There's this idea that he should have been. You know, when he's straight from Booker, he should have been down, he calmed him down, that sort of thing. I get that's the idea, and I think that there is. They did, though. They, they, before they put him in the car, they had him up against the wall saying, calm down. All right. That's when they asked him, are you on something? No. He had minutes. He had minutes before they even tried to put him in the car. Yeah. And then he had minutes. And then he had minutes. And then he had minutes. And my goal, I, don't how, I, I guess, and I'm not, I don't know how long it has to, does it need to be? I don't, I don't either. That's why I have not. I'm asking questions. No, I know, but I'm saying he did have minutes. Where he was up against the wall. And saying, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, the points are so high. What, what's Just going on? Still the points, all right. They were asking him that up against the wall, the window. And then he said, I'll move out the window, calm down. I don't know, again, we can all get to the point where he's on the ground. Got lucky there at the end. I don't think they could have done more. That's where I differ. Yeah. Really I really can't think of a more okay, empathetic police officer that came in. Are you doing anything? Let's see right, how much shows. Okay, hey, no, look, I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to put you in the car. I'm going to open the window, get in the car. I don't think she said that. I don't know what they were supposed to do. He couldn't bring himself to get in the car the first time. Your lawyer, you just said this. Could you think magically the second time? I'm going to play for maximum because I'm not a simp. Yeah, it, the problem is, is if a, if you ask him what are you on, you're not going to get the answer. Fingers, come on, the so there has, so, and I, I, mean, I hate to say, but there has to be something that said like this is to save your life. We need to know if you're on something so we can take you out of restraints. Whatever it is, that, not saying that they need to do that. Right. I'm just saying. That would be something that would have added it's too hard to do. Well, would, uh, would change, there's no way really to do it because, because you're not going to admit to a crime right. while you're being arrested. <laughs> right. That's just the reality. And certainly not if you've committed several violent crimes, like robbing a woman in front of her kids. Yeah. I mean, like, this is not a guy. This is also the media. Can you also agree here, too, with the George Floyd and the Hans Bunny a little bit? Okay. The kind of guy who. Has who's already stepped over the line and robbed a woman at gunpoint, scoping out a woman. Yeah, what do you call the six? He called the ten hours. He done that. Robbing her at gunpoint, roughing her up, and then when an officer, you you know, you're, you're acting like Michael Clark. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, sir. Could you leave the light on, sir? It's like, come on, look, look. You just you just brushed the kid off after giving him a counterfeit twenty, and he really nicely just said, man, come on, you're gonna take it out of my, you're gonna take it out of my pay. Before you arrest me, can I have some wax cold? Hey, so Austin and the other day, you just said we, we missed this. Uh, so it was a seven. The problem is, people aren't seeing the full context. They're seeing the full context. They're seeing what the prosecution wants. I can't hit 21, but he still can do it. A perfect example of that is here's a witness who was saying that George Floyd, this is Floyd by, said, never said that. I never heard him say. I was, I was before that. And him being presented with something was, that he couldn't possibly have heard 30. from their smartphone. Three, three hands. Yeah, good. Good game. Nine. So this is a perfect example of why you can't just believe. Six. 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 Six
This guy doesn't want the truth. That's what's really clear. He, he wants the opposite of the truth. Well, and that's what I'm saying. I want the truth as well. And that means he's guilty of a crime that I want to go to jail. I am not here trying to, to preach the yeah, vision like John was going and nothing should happen. I just want truth to come out. That's it. Period. But that's him telling him that he ate too many drugs, correct? Yeah. What point did he do that? That's him confessing and letting it go. Yeah. It's still not well, I think that that is definitely something that should be Take yeah, it should be taken. Yeah. Not against the other police. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. My, my point is that against the sheriff, and I think so. this, guy, this guy right now is saying, believe your eyes, believe what you see. And the point is, that was someone who was there, someone who had reviewed it. Right. Right. He said, I heard it all. He's saying, like, did you hear this? No. They play. Do you hear it now? Yes. So the point is, this guy is saying, believe what you saw on uh, on YouTube. Believe what you saw on World Star. Believe what you saw in you know on NBC. Believe like the animated clips. Just believe what you saw, what you've seen. Don't believe. All of the additional evidence. Don't, don't believe yes, what's uh, been presented. So don't believe the aggregate of everything that's been presented here. He wants people, he wants low information jurists. That's what he is doing right now. He's actively trying to eliminate the most relevant evidence that could only come out in court to say, let's go back to when you first saw the video and you felt really emotional. That's how you should charge this guy. Let me go back to what he said. Is that common sense or is that nonsense? And by the way, you guys let me know. Comment below. It's the best thing you can do. It's comment. I know right now you can't because it's live. We'll be taking your mouth on chat. But as soon as this is uh, up on YouTube, just comment what you say. If this is convincing, if you see this as subversive as I do, I can't believe what this guy is doing. I mean, I can't. I don't like it. It requires a tolerance. If you know what the toxicology report does in terms of the levels, and you know what the testimony is about that. Die of the trouble. I got a six. Mean overdose level out. for fentanyl over the H is 3.1 nanograms per milliliter. Floyd had 11 nanograms per milliliter. Now, keep in mind, he's trying to say he had a tolerance. But again, beforehand, they said George Floyd hadn't committed any crime. George Floyd was clean. Remember? Now they're saying he wasn't. Well, who said he wasn't? Mama, his girlfriend. Yeah, said he'd been doing drugs. So which is it? Had he been clean, straightened up, and fly right? Or was he uh, with Mama, crack girlfriend, crack mean girlfriend, who talked about the doing drugs, and he built up a tolerance so much that he was willing to pass counterfeit $20 to get his next deal? This, you do have to have one or the other. Because now if you're saying ignore all the evidence, ignore that Mama was his girlfriend, that he was doing drugs. Okay, well, then we go back to the fact that he was clean. The mean overdose level of fentanyl is 3.1. He was 11. Okay, case closed. No, 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 no. Actually, he was doing so many drugs that uh, he had such a high tolerance. Oh, but you just said he was lucid. You just said he was explaining himself articulately. You just said he was calling out for his mother. So which is it? There is no way to take this prosecution's closing statement at face value. It doesn't work because the parts of his statement right now don't match up with the initial parts. So, slaughter is a second degree. Yeah, what do you expect the judge to pick payday? This is an opinion, as he says. I think that George Floyd, along with a lot of people, are just simply, you get somebody who's a drug addict at the end of his drug, he has no hope, he has nowhere to go, he's really not going to turn around and change to be a better part of society, because, frankly, he kind of can't. I know that's hard to believe, but he's just at a point in his life where he's out of options. At this point, he's shut down in most of the country, where we're now riling up people who feel like they're useless, they don't have any we're seeing, we're telling them not only that, but that they are in fact this man. Right. And you know what else? You know what people die from? Some of us in the world. It takes way more time off your life. Look, there are several choices there. Counterfeit the brothers doing drugs. 
hanging around the same people, committing more crimes. Here, we have more social security. We have more social security. We have more social security. Those parts will cancel, though. Did they get it? No, I think he believed it. Just things change. You know, like a tool change, man. Well, who do you think it's a tool change? Well, it's actually water. It's not your only option. Because people like Joe Biden say that's your only option. It's people bad. Everyone's holding you down. Everyone's holding you back. They don't tell you, look, right now, in places in Florida, they are paying you $50 to show up for a job interview at McDonald's. We can have the, the news team back there. In fact, bring it up $50 to show up for an interview. Wow. Because people won't show up now. They don't want to work. Wow. They, they feel comfortable they enough with the government money. That's a big problem. That's why there's a shortage out right now. Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? What? I'm getting free. No, I agree. But the, I, I, he thinks he doesn't have options. Correct. Correct. The issue is, and I'm speaking from an addict point of view. Yes, yeah, so we've got a medical problem, problem, right? Drug addiction is not just a mental problem. It is or, or, or a brain issue, like choosing right. It's a medical issue, right? It has to be treated as such. And it's, it's treated as punishment. And I understand that because a lot of it is a crime. But when you are a drug felon and all that, you know, everything that he had happening to him, it is very, very hard to make a transition to think you're not useless. Not everybody's Danny Trey. That, that being said, that, look, that being said, there are plenty of people with drug problems. There are plenty of people with drug problems who commit crimes to try and get the next fix. There's a big hundred percent difference between that and scoping out a house with a mom who you know is going with a gang with guns and putting her at gun and jamming it into her stomach. That is not. That's a sinister bastard. Yeah. Uh -huh.